Practice rounds begin later today. Pete Zervakis is live with the details of the impact on the local economy. Good morning, Pete. You're not the only one out there right now. <laughs> Definitely not, although I'm probably the only one out here who doesn't know how to golf uh, very well, Elise and Susan. Now, the USGA says long term the U.S. Open Championship is going to mean about $130 million into the local economy here in southeastern Wisconsin. Of course, as golf fans arrive this week, they'll spend money on hotels if they're coming in from out of town, uh, food, maybe some of the merchandise that's being sold here at Aaron Hills. Local businesses here in town, in the town of Aaron, say they've already taken notice of the increased crowds. Staffing is at the max at nearby Goman's Rapid Mart. They all are working extra hours. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. We're making extra sandwiches. We're making, you got to have extra cold beer. You got to have extra ice. You got to have extra everything. Larry Goman says his business began noticing more customers coming in last week uh, in conjunction with the merchandise tent opening up for a soft opening ahead of the U.S. Open Championships here. The store even put in a third register to try and accommodate the extra crowds they anticipate in the couple of days. Of course, very busy down there, but they said, we're not complaining, we're happy. Please send as many fans as you can. Live at Aaron Hills Golf Course, Pete Zervakis, today's TMJ4. Certainly, that's a good